Hello everybody, we're going to work a practice problem for chemistry today. This problem actually has little to do with chemistry and a lot to do with paying attention to your units and sorting out information. Go ahead and pause if you want to read the full problem statement. I'm going to just go ahead and start identifying the information that we have. Notice that we are given these two numbers. They're in units of inches that talk about the physical size of a strip of aluminum, some sort of foil. We know the mass of this thing, which is good. We're going to need that. We're also told that this is folded up and it's put it inside of a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. The water level starts at 7.75 milliliters and then goes up to 8.30 once the aluminum has been added. Hopefully you can recognize that this would be the displacement method for determining the volume of this aluminum. And so what's really going to be important for me is delta V, the change in volume. It's going to be the final minus the initial, so 8.30 milliliters minus 7.75 milliliters is going to be equal to 0 0.55 milliliters. Notice that you actually do not need this piece of information at all. Be careful in a word problem like this so that you don't just look up, see that that's a volume, and maybe accidentally grab it when it's not relevant for the actual calculation parts. If we come in and look at what we're meant to find, we need to find the density and the thickness of the aluminum foil. There is a little bit of redundant information in this problem, and so this is where you just have to sort out what you know. It's actually very straightforward. Density is going to be equal to mass divided by volume. The volume of this aluminum we just figured out, it's right there. The mass we know from before, so that was this mass that was given to us. It happens to be 1.49 grams. So this will be very easy to find the density. It's going to be equal to 1.49 grams, keeping track of my units. There is a relationship that is very straightforward between milliliters and cubic centimeters. That relationship is that one milliliter is equal to a cubic centimeter. That's a great one to memorize. So in doing that, I know that I actually have 0.55 cubic centimeters as well. So 0 0.55 centimeters cubed. This is going to equal 2.709 grams per centimeter cubed. If you take a moment to look at the number of significant digits that I have, I'm limited over here in my volume to only two. So I'm only going to grab two in this answer. So my density is going to be 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. I'm asked to find this in units of kilograms per meter cubed. So I'm going to go through the steps to do my unit conversions. I want to get rid of gram, so I need gram down here. I want to go to kilogram. There's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. Then I need to get rid of my centimeters cubed. So I'm going to say cm cubed up here. I want to go to meters cubed. There's 100 centimeters in every one meter. But because of the cubed here, remember I need to also cube the conversion factor. So it's 100 cubed and then 1 cubed of course remains 1. And if I do the math out here, I'm going to get 2,700 kilograms per meter cubed. And that is my final answer for the density. Notice I still have one, two significant figures. For the next part of the problem, I need to find the thickness. And it specifically asks for the thickness in millimeters. Thickness is going to be related to the volume of this aluminum strip altogether. So I'm going to have this idea that I have volume is equal to length times width times height, where these two numbers are going to represent two of these things. I'll just go ahead and say they're the length and the width. And then I'll replace this H to maybe capital T for thickness. So I'm going to have the volume of the sheet is going to be equal to 4.2 inches multiplied by 1.5 inches multiplied by a T for thickness. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to plug in my volume, but you're going to notice that we're going to have a units problem. Right now I had from before 0.55 centimeters cubed and I'm in inches squared over here plus an additional inches from the thickness. So what I need to do is I need to have unit agreement. 
I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say 4.2 inches multiplied by 1.5 inches and then let's do the unit conversion here. I've got inches squared. I want to get rid of inches squared. I want to go to centimeters squared for these two components. In one inch there's 2.54 centimeters but again we are squared so my factors need to get squared as well. So 4.2 times 1.5 times 2.54 squared is going to be equal to 40.645. I've rounded that a little. Centimeters squared. This is the number I wanted over here and so I'm going to replace that. 40.645 centimeters squared times T. Divide this quantity over to the other side so I can isolate for T. And I find that T is equal to 0 0.0135 centimeters. The problem asks for me to solve this out in millimeters. So I want to get rid of centimeter. I want to go to millimeter. There are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So my final answer is equal to 0 0.135 millimeters. But I'm going to do my significant figures check and I'm still limited by 1, 2 in that volume. So I only want two sig figs here and I should round that up. So I'm going to have the thickness is equal to 0 0.14 millimeters. And that is my final answer there. Certainly I hope you can see the value in actually writing out all of your units. That helps keep track of things. If this all made sense to you, certainly you should let your computer know.